Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to go through Bard has a pretty significant update. Google Lens is now on Bard. It can read your responses. You can export code to Replit. You can share conversations. So we're going to get into all that today. So some of the some of the features for you know for those you know not in the U.S. There's there's definitely some nice updates that's rolling out to more countries. It's going to be available in new languages, which is great. And you're going to be able to upload images, which is going to be nice. You're going to be able to use Google's Google's Lens. Yeah, that'll be interesting. We'll, we'll do a quick demo of that later. There's going to be Bard can read the responses out loud to you, and that's going to also be in 40 language languages, which I'm I'm, I'm interested in to see. See how that goes. It could be it could be kind of helpful for for writing too. Sometimes it's like when you hear when you see those things, you're you know if it, if you have it write an email or something, it, would, it might be kind of an interesting feature there. Pinned in recent threads, so better management of your conversations, which is always helpful. And you can share share your conversation with others. You know, OpenAI ChatGPT did this. At first, I was I was kind of like why like you know. Why do I want to share this? But, you know, I think collaboration, prompts, sharing prompts, I definitely see a use case there. And then modify Bard's responses. You, you kind of have some one-click options now to uh, to be able to modify. And then for the developers out there, export. You can export your Python code to, to your Replit account, which is pretty cool. So let's get into it a little bit. Let's start fresh. So new warning popped up that human reviewers may process your Bard conversations for quality purposes. So it sounds like Google's doing some like human human reinforcement learning quality control kind of check stuff now, which is to be expected, but I appreciate that they put the warning up. So let us try this file uploader first actually. So let's get into Let's get into an image here. I downloaded a stock photo. And I'm trying to think of what I've used Google Lens before with. So let's just let's just see what it could tell us about. Can you describe this photo for me? Let's just see what it says. So Bard's thinking right now. And the photo shows a large grassy field in front of a tall building. The field is green and lush, and there are a few trees scattered about. The building is tall and imposing with a glass facade and a sharp angular design. The sky in the background is clear and blue. That is pretty spot on. I'd say that's pretty spot on. Here are some additional details about the photo was taken in the summer as evidenced by the lush green grass and clear blue sky. The building is likely a corporate headquarters or a government building. The photos taken in the city as evidenced by the tall buildings in the background. You kind of just see see one, but okay. Um, and the photographer is likely standing on a rooftop or a hill to get this perspective. Could be a hill, definitely not a rooftop, I would say, but could be a hill. Could be a hill, but again, not bad, not bad. So we got a couple different. Oh no, this is they've had this before. Let's see if we can make this shorter. Let's try these modifiers now. Okay, so I just kind of gave you a more concise, concise roundup of the photo. Oh, can can you give me hex hex colors from the photos? That'd be pretty cool if we could do that. Wow, really? Okay, so the building's white, sky, sun. Actually, let's actually see. Can you show me what this hex color? Looks like. Let's see if it can actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> it gave me some code to to see that. But let's see if we can just. I think you just Google hex colors now. Okay. I mean, sure for grass. All right. So pretty cool there. That's pretty cool. I can see that being useful. I can see that being useful for trying to trying to extract some stuff. Yeah. So I gotta think more on the Google Lens feature. So let's let's say let's do a new conversation. Let's try to write a little Python. Can you write me a Python Python script to use the SERP API you know, to search Bing for coffee? 
this little app that I'm working on and uh, let's see if it can scaffold for us. So that looks again, this is a pretty simple example, but that looks spot on. Let's see if we can get, okay. So you can go to docs. You can actually export to Gmail. You can go to collab now and then you can export to replit. So let's see. Okay. I got a privacy policy thing and okay. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be public which is fine. And I'm already signed into Replit, so I don't know if, if that's going to require any sign-in yet. So just as an FYI. I mean, it's a simple script, but let's look at the API really quickly and see if we can get a little deeper. And engine bing search. Okay, so I might have to do some tweaking, but again, pretty good scaffolding. And I love that it went straight into Replit and I could just run this. And I don't have an API key, so and I didn't install the package, so it's not going to run. But love the one-click integration with the Replit. That's that's going to be nice. Google's Collab product's pretty good too, but I think just Replit allows you to do more. Cool. All right, what what else is there that we didn't try? Okay, so you can kind of kind of save chats and pin them, which is cool. All right, let's see what share. How do I share this one? All right, it's sharing it right here. Let's create a public link. Okay, so you could share it. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's kind of a nice interface. But this is the this so this is the share link. So you can copy the link. So if you want to give somebody some code, you can kind of get there. You can see the prompt. I just I like the interface. It's a nice simple UI. Now here's the real test is how do you how do you stop sharing? Let's see if we can figure that one out. Your public links. Whew, excuse me. Okay, so you you have a little way to manage all your shares, which is good because some of that stuff you just don't want you don't want out there. And I want to hear this. All right, let's do this one. It's like 5 a.m. over here, so I'm struggling. So thank you, Bard, for having having a list of things for me to go over. All right, so brainstorm a list of team bonding activities for our summer work retreat. So let's see if we can do the, the listen here. So, so they make it into the stream. Ooh. It's a, it's a pretty, you know, it's a, it's a familiar voice. I, I do use a lot of speech to text stuff. So I'm, I'm sure this is an existing API that you're tapping into because it sounds pretty familiar, you know, probably would get a little, it, a little tired after a while for or for a long talking bit, but yeah, it's a good start. I would love to see, I would definitely love to see more, more voices down the road. So some customization I think would be cool. And, but yeah, not bad. Sorry, not bad, not bad. And there's now these modifiers here that you can go through so we can make things like shorter, longer, more professional. So let's see, that was a large list of activities. So let's see what the shorter, the shorter flag does. Duh, didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. So that's probably better for text-based things. So, <laughs> Whew. um, all right. So it looks like we got through everything. So definitely a big update. Yeah. I, I want to play with the lens feature more. I'm trying, I'm struggling to think of what, how that can work in a good workflow. So I want to test out the limits of that a little bit more. Definitely, if I'm running Python and I'm using Replit, this is going to be my go-to for that export feature. And you know the you know the 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 read out loud feature could be really nice too. You know, if you're asking it to write an email, sometimes it'd be nice to hear it from from that perspective. So I I could see that that becoming part of the flow. But you know. Pretty pretty big stuff today from Google. Lots of lots of big tweaks and changes. So very exciting to see more movement on Bard. I was hopeful we were going to see. You know, I think they announced it at Google I/O I in May. I was hopeful for some some plug in action because I think that's going to be fascinating too to see how that goes. But so hopefully hopefully we'll get another big big update soon. But definitely some stuff to play around with. So try it out. Let us know if you find anything interesting, and keep us updated and. Uh, we appreciate you you all taking the time and joining us today. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.